Hi everyone. So a, a question I get asked a lot is, should I clean my cymbals? And uh, there's a few different schools of thought on this about just leaving them um, in a natural state and apparently they sound better. I can't tell any difference between um, polished cymbals and unpolished cymbals. Um, but if you can tell the difference, then, then don't, don't polish them, it's up to you. But for me, um, I don't clean mine very often, mainly because I just don't have time to. Um, but at the minute, they, they definitely do a clean. This one's particularly uh, filthy. So I've been cleaning my cymbals in the same way for about the last 20 to 25 years. And, uh, and I, I've kind of fine-tuned this method over a, a period of time and I find it works really well. Um, there's a lot of people frown on this method of doing it, but I find it works well. Uh, you see how you find it and, um, and if it doesn't work for you then, then fine and try maybe one of the cymbal cleaners on the market or something like that. Right, so what you're going to need um, for a start, if you can do it outside, brilliant because it's, it's a mucky job. You want a blanket down with some description. Doing it on the grass is great because it means that you've got a nice soft surface underneath and it's not going to damage your cymbals or anything like that. One thing I should say is do not do it in bright sunlight. Today's ideal, it's kind of it's a bit overcast and cloudy at the minute, which is which is perfect really. Um, if it's too bright and if it's too sunny, the brasser will dry on the cymbals too quickly and you don't want that. Um, but we'll come to that in a bit. So what I use um, is Brasso. You're going to need some white spirits. That's filthy white spirits, by the way. I didn't have any clean white spirits. Don't follow my example. I just haven't had time to go out and buy any clean white spirits. It, it, it'll do the job, but you should really, for the sake of 50p or whatever it costs for a bottle of white spirits, um, buy some clean stuff rather than using dirty white spirits, which is bad. Anyway, um, you need lots of kitchen roll and you need an old duster. So what I generally do is work on two cymbals at a time um, and you'll see why in a moment. So I, I find working on two at the same time works really well. So I'm going to start on this one first and this is a, a Zildjian uh, custom hybrid china. And as I say, I don't do this very often. So um, uh, the, the one disadvantage of cleaning your cymbals too often is that it will rub the, the logos and things like that off over time. So I try not to do it too often. I mean, this is a pretty old cymbal and where you can see how much the logos are gone, but that's, that's gone just from cleaning it. You know, there's no, nothing else is making that logo come off. So, but that's about uh, oh, 20 years old or something, I think. So um, anyway, right, we'll start on this. So the first thing to do, God. Right, get plenty of kitchen roll and brasso. Give it a good shake. Now, what you want to do here is pour it on the cloth. If it goes on the cymbal like there, rub it in straight away because if you leave that to sit on the cymbal, it'll mark it. So if you pour directly onto the cymbal or if it spills on the cymbal like that, don't leave it. Rub, rub it in straight away. So just a light rub and especially light over the, the logos on the, on the symbols if you don't want the logos to come off. So we're just doing a very light rub around at the minute. A little bit more. Now, there's two different techniques to cleaning symbols I find depending on whether it's a brilliant symbol, which believe it or not that is, or whether it's got the tr traditional kind of grooved finish that the outer portion of the hybrid symbols have. The inner portion um, is, is a brilliant finish. So we're going to be using two slightly different techniques on the same symbol here. But you can see straight away all the muck that's already coming off. Um, so I'm just going to work on this for a little bit. I'm not pressing hard. Again, oops, a bit too much, but that's all right. If you spill any, as I say, just rub it in straight away. Don't let it sit there in pools, because you get these horrible kind of drip marks on your cymbals if you do. 
So I'm going to do, I'm working around in the grooves as a symbol, so I'm working in, in circles all the time, following the grooves as a symbol. So I'm going to start just with the brilliant bit. And brilliant means shiny. And that'll probably do for that. So I'm just around the logo, I'm being really light, that I'm not pressing on the logo too much because it, it comes off quite easily. I don't know if I've ever cleaned this particular symbol before. Um, but all I'm doing, working around the grooves, now you can see it's turning black from all the, the muck that's, uh, that's coming off the symbol. But that's fine. If your cloth gets really dirty like that, uh, change it. You're going to need loads of kitchen roll for this. Oh, paper towel, whatever you call it. The sun's coming out a bit, but it's not too bright. It'll be all right. But the only thing is, with the sun, as I say, it'll it'll bake the brasso onto the onto the symbol, and it makes it a lot harder to get back off. So I think that'll do for that one. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put that in the shade and let that dry for a little bit. So now I'm going to work on this one. So same again. So you're only working on one side at a time. This one's particularly filthy. You do sometimes get the odd stubborn patch, that little patch here that just, it won't come off. I don't know what it is, it's maybe something's been spilt or dripped on it or something, but you do sometimes get these odd patches that just won't get clean. And depending on how clean you want the symbol to be, sometimes you just have to give up on the, on the logo. I mean, this isn't a particularly expensive symbol. I'm not that bothered about losing the logo on it. On things like my custom hybrids, um, I'm a bit more precious about keeping the logos on those. So if you ever want to sell your symbols, um, and just because they look better with a logo on, but if you ever want to sell your symbols, you're going to lose a lot of value if the logo's um, gone on a relatively new symbol like that. You can see what I mean about this being a, a mucky job, by the way. It really is an outside job. One thing I have done in the past, and if all you're doing is removing mucky finger marks from the symbols, and they're not as, as disgusting as that. Here, by the way, here, look. There's a drip that's gone through the other side and it's already started to make a drip mark that's gone all the way through. I think I've caught it just in time, but you do have to be careful with that. Anyway, yeah, what I have done in the past, um, if all you're doing is getting rid of, of finger marks, a degreaser, um, Swarfiga works really well, perhaps washing up liquid, I don't know, I haven't tried that. But any sort of degreaser, um, some sort of soap of some description, just to lift the, the grease marks off the symbols. That works pretty well. Um, and then you can just wash it off in the shower, as long as you, you properly dry the symbols or, or with a hose or anything. So you just wash the degreaser off, and then as long as you properly dry them afterwards, that's, that's absolutely fine to do that, I think. I don't see any problems with it. I'm sure someone will tell us otherwise, but um, just make sure you properly dry them after. Anyway. That one's about done. Right, put that to one side. So I'm going to come back to this one. So the first thing I'm going to do is get some clean kitchen towel and just give it a light rub over just to get the worst of this uh, dirt off it. And again, you'll see like the, the black that comes off the symbol when you do this. So this is just a, a light rubbing over at the minute. to get the worst off. So now, I'm 
but you'll see from the brasso it's left all these uh, it's left all the dirt a lot of dirt in the grooves of the symbol and that's the next thing that we're going to get rid of so the way to get rid of that is white spirits so be careful with this stuff it is flammable I think but you need loads of this just cover the symbol in it as much as you want and what this does is it lifts the dirt out of the grooves of the symbol so give it a good rub in but you don't have to press hard particularly that'll do and give it a little dry finished yet but that's already looking pretty good put that to one side come back to this one we'll do exactly the same thing quick rub and then I should really use a clean bit loads of white spirits just to lift the dirt out the grooves there we go again Give it a quick dry. Jeez. Right, so we'll let that dry off a little bit. Come back to this one. Right, this last stage, you don't really want to do this last stage if um, if there's any wet white spirits still on it because it will, well, you'll see what I mean. So what you want to do now is Get a duster, cleanish duster, and you're doing the polishing now. So get into the brilliant bit first, and you can give that a good, uh, a good polish in the brilliant section of the symbol. That. In the non-brilliant bit, just a light rub, really, just to get the. Um, the white spirits off. Sometimes if you can still see dirt in the grooves you might want to give it another go over with white spirits just to help lift that dirt out. But again careful on the logo that you're not look, rubbing too hard. That'll do on that. I'm not even going to bother cleaning the under, underside of it. Should I? I'm not going to clean the underside. It's pretty immaculate. But I'm happy with that. So then, same with this one. Polish it. So that's it. Bit of an improvement. It's not taking long. I need to do the underside of that. I'll do it later on. But you get the general idea. So there you go, hope that's been useful.